We do a lot of very tightly engineered products. We've grown our company up over the years and we now have 38 molding machines here. We're looking forward to the robots keeping us in that growth pattern. The unemployment issue is a big thing. Wisconsin is right around 2% or under. Right now we're going through almost a revolving door syndrome with entry level workers. Success at PMC is pretty straightforward. If Sawyer can free up a human operator, if we can free up that human and have them do a more complicated task, then we've succeeded. The software was a lot easier to use than I anticipated. We actually got it started before we hired our first automation engineer. I thought it was gonna be a lot more complicated than that. Right now, we've got Sawyer making a part for a pressure gauge, and basically what Sawyer is responsible for is taking the part after it comes off the press and putting it on a CNC machine, and then take the part out of the CNC machine and put it in the box. The first step of the process is the part comes off of the press, uh, the picker drops it onto our special ramp. The reason that this ramp is here and has all these parts built up on it is actually so there's enough time for the parts to cool down before Sawyer handles them. So Sawyer takes the part and places it down on a small pedestal. It looks at the part with its camera built into its arm. Once it has the orientation info, it picks it up the correct way, and then it puts it down in the nest in the CNC, holds it down, tells the clamps to fire, and then Sawyer moves out of the way and tells the CNC to run its cycle. Once there are 160 parts in the box, Sawyer actually pauses and waits for the operator to come out, swap it out for an empty box, and then the operator gives Sawyer a little push to tell it to keep going. The operator doesn't even need to hit a button. You will definitely see a few more robots. There are a lot of different opportunities in this factory for automation. I'd like to be able to walk down the factory floor and see robots on at least 20 or 30% of the jobs.